Let him send it out of the far corner. Go to our right. In we are to the penalty spot. Henry Akabuki. Yes! Score! Boom Yakamakis! Seventeens. The Boom Yakamakis counter is up to four. Yorgos Yakamakis becomes one of only seven players in MLS history to score in his first four starts. The two-game stretch back-to-back -back away on the road for the Five Stripes is finally over, and we head back to Mercedes-Benz Stadium. That's Jason Longshore. I'm Joe Fryhofer. Heartbreaker in the 94th. But the Five Stripes walk away with one point over there in BMO Field. In Atlanta, felt like there was a little bit left on the table, and Pineda wanted to get started early in this one. A stunning header nodded onto the back post to get the guys just the start they were looking for. Yeah, it's a great sequence all the way around. Luis Adarujo with an interception, long diagonal to Derek Etienne. He earns the corner, and then a perfectly placed delivery from Brooks Lynn into the near post. Yorgos Yakimakis just redirects into the far post. No chance to save and a great start for Atlanta. Chol then comes in in the second half and it was the buildup for me that made this one most impressive. Being out there in the wing, a couple of one-two passes, got his step overs in and then retreated all the way inside of the box to get on the end of the service. Yeah, Chol came in as a number 10 in this match, something that we haven't seen him play, but his versatility is getting him big minutes on the field for Gonzalo Pineda. He comes in at a time where it's 1-1, Atlanta needs a spark. It's Machoke Chol who provides it, getting on the end of a header across uh, from Luis Araujo and a great go-ahead goal that you think might be the winner, but... Insigne came into that left wing and started to do damage. 94th, just a final flickering moment that got them their chance and that was all they needed. Cervania would be the one to walk home with the finish and make it just a draw in the end. Yeah, it's a great goal from Brandon Cervania. But when Lorenzo Insigne came into this match, you could start to feel the buzz at BMO Field. He was combining with Bernardeschi, and Atlanta was holding on a bit, trying to see this out. Luis Abram came on late to help the defensive side of the team, but finally Toronto found the combination to unlock it. Started with Osorio, Marshall ready with the cross, and then a great finish from Cervania. Take a bow, Brooks Lennon, a guy who for back-to-back -back weeks now has had to deal with two of the most unpredictable wingers in all of MLS, handled himself with remarkable composure. Yeah, and he's still getting forward too. That's what's so impressive about Brooks Lennon's performances here lately, is he's not sacrificing his attacking instincts just to sit back and defend. This one was even trickier than last week, in my opinion, because we didn't know if we'd see Lorenzo Insigne. He comes into the match late, went at Lennon on the dribble multiple times, and Brooks stood him up to the point that Insigne started dropping further away from the play. He did impact that final goal, but it was the fourth or fifth pass at the beginning of the sequence rather than the killer blow. I thought Lennon really did a great job in containing Lorenzo Insigne. Atlanta's had an impressive homestand against the Chicago Fire all time. We can't forget last season, a 4-1 finish inside of Mercedes-Benz. Ronaldo Cisneros had a hat trick, had himself a day against the side. We can hopefully hope for more of the same. Yeah, there's been some good goals in the series. Atlanta's been dominant, whether it's been at Bobby Dodd Stadium, where Joseph Martinez scored an amazing goal from like no angle in 2017 to Mercedes-Benz Stadium, where Atlanta United has really owned the Chicago Fire here in the state of Georgia. The goal of the series, in my opinion, was Ezekiel Barco's goal in 2021. Just a stunner from about 22 yards out. If there's one man who fills the definition perfectly of aging like fine wine, gotta be Kai Kamara. Three goals already on the season at 38 years of age, including a clutch game winner against Inter Miami and Gaga Slanina, who has made the transfer over to Chelsea for 15 million. Big shoes to fill in that position. Chris Brady, the young 19-year-old, the Illinois native, trying to do just that this season. Yeah, Brady's been impressive. Chicago comes in without a loss in their last five. And Brady's starting to set some records for young goalkeepers making big moments with the Chicago Fire. But Kai Kamara, on the other end of the spectrum, he scored against 25 different teams in Major League Soccer. But surprisingly, Atlanta is not one of them. One of the teams that he has played the most against without scoring a goal. Hopefully that doesn't change on Sunday. As always, you guys can catch this match on Apple TV through the MLS Season Pass. It will also be held in English on Fox Sports 1, in Spanish on Fox Deportes, Spanish on La Mejor Spanish Radio. And Jason, things have switched up a little bit because of that Hawks game for you guys. 
the uh, Hawks playoff against Boston Celtics. So we will be on Star 94 starting at 4 o'clock with the Five Stripes Countdown. Whole game on Star 94, also the Odyssey app and the full-time report for an hour after the final whistle. Back home, the Five Stripes go, and let's see if we can cool off the fire as they make the trip inside of Mercedes-Benz. It's Jason Longshore. I'm Joe Freihofer. This has been your weekly report number nine. We'll see you guys on Sunday.